Hey guys, welcome back. Okay. Um. I think I've decided again what I'm gonna do. Is run back to Corthos and maybe do a couple of quests at Corthos on hard. Just to get a feel for what hard is gonna be like. Because you guys haven't seen hard yet. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Um, I'll maybe run a couple quests in Corthos, and then we'll come back to Stormreach. I'm not gonna do all of them. Like I said in the last video, we're gonna mix these up a bit. Um, I don't want to run back and forth too much, but uh, on the other hand, I don't want to spend the next you know ten videos in Corthos either. So let's go run back over there. Okay, here we are back in Corthos again. Back into Sahuagan territory. In the cult. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Um, right. We got Linus over here. Let's repeat his quest. And there's another one somewhere. Where's she at? Eh, not back here. I do remember there's a. Let's say this guy's one of them. Kenneth Quest. And then there's that one in the tomb. Would you get out of my way, fool? Where's she at? Maybe back in here? There she is. Alright, so that's three quests. And this is one of them. Alright, level one. So we're gonna do this hard, so it's now level two. <laughs> Let's head in. Okay. There's Chakoti. Coming from deep in the crypt, you hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Kaya spoke of. And by the passage leading in, a grim-faced man glares at you. Strange. Sarcophagi line the... You notice something strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you found some kind of secret door in the wall. This is a dark and dusty passage. It doesn't look like anyone's come through here in decades. <laughs> There's a lot of dams in this this uh, level one quests. Okay, um, so just to be sure, we're on hard, and this is worth 533. Now we're getting experience again, guys, since we leveled up. Um, even though we've got all these bars full, um, we can start gaining experience towards our fourth level. We've already got enough experience to hit level three if we wanted to. <clears throat> Which is going to be um, Boy, that short sword's really short. <laughs> That's a short sword. I'm not kidding. Um, it's going to be typical of, of a... what's the deal? Of how we run. Just because we have, we're doing all the quests. Okay. There's something off a chest. It's out in the open and unprotected. You found the triggering mechanism for some sort of trap in this room. It would take someone trained as you've disconnected the trap's firing mechanism. The chest is safe to approach now. <laughs> Oh man, I, I forget how um, 
Because these are, these are the, uh, the tutorial dungeons that they're... I really spent some time making sure that you really... A treasure chest glimmers in this passage. There may be something of use inside. Alright, guys. What were those cultists up to? This bears more investigation. So you notice I wasn't one-shotting them like I was before. It took a little more time and effort. In the middle of this chamber is an evil devourer altar. By it, a Sahuagan rumbles. For generations, the human Hatens have forestalled us. Now the dead Hatens shall serve the devourer's slaves. They'll be the army to crush the Corthos resistance, cries the Sahuagan. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, um... This is something I should have already put up by now, guys, actually. We have a, we have a buff song, so let's get it going. So we have a plus one. Should have a plus one. Uh, yeah, plus one morale bonuses, etc., etc. So... All right, skeletons. The Sahuagin's plan must have been to use these devourer altar. A magical crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. Oh, wow. She just yaps, doesn't she? So there you go. Now we got ourselves a nice healing ability. Go ahead and use it. Hey, cultists, guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. You want some? Come here. Yeah. Sit down. You sit down, too. Down you go. Okay, shrine. <laughs> okay, guys. Are you shooting arrows at me, fool. As you slay these foul cultists, take care to keep your own health up. Yeah, I got that. No worries. There's another Sahuagin. It croaks. Crag Wolf Hayton, in life you served the light. But in death, you shall serve the devourer. <laughs> What is that guy doing? These devourer altars will create a blight of undead upon corpses. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. Yeah. That was weird how the skeleton went sliding away. Must have been a lag thing. Alright, switch back over to my sword. That's why I'm ignoring these chest guys. A treasure chest glimmers in the dark passage here. Yeah, sit down. Um there's nothing in those except for the the starter, like rusty blades and stuff to, to kill the skeletons and zombies with. There's a Sahuagan in here, performing some kind of ritual. Come, dead son of Corthos, rise and do my... The altar glows with dark power, and the Sahuagan continues. Kill, kill 
everyone in Kordos. Kill everyone. The Sahuagin were using this vile devout when the altar collapses. The crest appears. It glows with cold magic. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Keep that spell going. Keep that song going. Alright guys, very nice. Almost done. Hey, there's money lying here. A magical barrier blocks the way, and behind it, you fit the last crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The sun on inside spits out in a venomous voice. and brought the Sahuagin's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours. That's right, it's mine. Okay, guys, Um. so again, we're now in a level 2 dungeon, so that we can get a little, at least a little bit more interesting items in the chests. Um, rather than all these plus 1 chainmail shirts that we've been getting. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever, I'm gonna sell it anyway, it doesn't matter. Hey dude. Alright guys. No bucklers, no bastard swords, no chainmail shirts. Um, no amulets. You can probably keep the rest, I don't know. I never remember to use these potions in the. anyway. I don't really know why I keep them, to be honest. Okay. Alright gang, so there you go. Uh, we'll stop here and I will pick this up in the next video where we will continue on. So I will see you guys then. Thanks a lot.